Hello my friends, this is Paul Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango and you're very welcome on my new video on my channel. Today I will show you the new SDR little portable transceiver. It's the USDX transceiver uh, purchased from China uh, from the Banggood and this transceiver is compact Mm, transceiver or the compact QRP transceiver based on the SDR technology. Originally is this transceiver uh, based on the German project which calls QCX, QCX transceiver you can find on the Google and um, I have to say this is actually a clone of this, uh, of this project. But this rig is small, it's something like a pocket sized transceiver. It has an internal battery, it has an internal microphone, internal PTT button, so you don't need any, any, any wires, any cables. You just uh, put in the antenna wire and that's it. You can call CQ. Well, so it's something similar to my X5105 Zygo transceiver. The output power, they declare about 5 to 10 watts. I presume that 5 watts on the internal battery and maybe 10 watts on an external source. Uh, I will test this uh, transceiver mainly from the battery because the purpose of this rig for me is to use it on POTA or SOTA or when I'm actually portable. It is, it is the 8-band SDR transceiver which is uh, very useful on the short waves. Alright, so in this video guys I will show you how this transceiver looks like, how it really works. I would like to open the, the radio and I would like to see how it looks like inside and then I would like to see how it will work um, in practice. So I would like to make a few QRP contacts. So I hope you will enjoy this rig and I hope you will enjoy the video. So let me open the box and we'll see. Alright, so let's try to find a upper side of the package. Let's say here. Alright, so what is here? We have a radio in the bubble, foil and we have a charger here. And nothing more. I have some tape on top. And the radio. Oh, I'm so excited all the time when I'm opening the new rig from the package. This first feeling. <laughs> so here is the AJF QRP SDR transceiver, the USDX transceiver. You can see how it looks like from the closer look. It's really well made. I have to say that everything fitting fine. The holes are precise, all connectors, sockets, everything is fine. Alright, so let me show you what is on the transceiver. On the front panel we have just the three buttons here, the PTT button, mode and the menu. Here the microphone, so it has a built-in microphone and you can very easily use this radio as the walkie-talkie style. So the large speaker and the LCD, which is not color, just the 
standard LCD which is good because we have a small current consumption of this receiver or should be here on the left side of this transceiver you can see the charging socket and the power source socket yeah you can see they are located um, separately and also I have received I have got in the package this little charger but in my case I have received the charger not for the, the EU standard so in this case I have to use this charger which I have and uh, it's also one amp charger with 12 volts and I just needed to to replace this uh, connector on the on the end I have uh, plenty of them because this charger is universal okay so so this socket is as you can see larger this is for the power source and here we have the switch or the power switch on this position the radio will run on the battery and on this position it will run on the power source or the external power source and as you can see there is used the SO239 uh, socket it is not uh, like I use very often I use the I use the um, B and C connectors on my portable antennas but this is not a problem because I have I have the adapter I have this a little a BNC PL259 adapter which is fine for usage with this transceiver and in this way I can use my magnetic loop antenna for example so this adapter maybe should be included in the package but is it it is not okay on the second side you can see this couple of uh, sockets so we have the the socket for the power amplifier the key socket for the external mic this is the connection for uh, for computer and the speaker there on the bottom you can see this red button and this red button is actually a second PTT button to turn on the rig we have to switch into the uh, BAT mode and radio started correctly you can see the color of this of this uh, buttons is uh, green which means that this transceiver is in receive mode if I push the PTT button but just uh, shortly I don't have connected the antenna so in, in the SSB very shortly you will see the uh, red color okay so that's just the indication okay so now it's time to open this little transceiver and to see how it looks like inside and if you wish to remove this knob you have to use this little inbus key which is included in the package as well and it is used for the knob the knob has a little hole with the uh, warm screw inside and we have to unscrew this worm and remove the knob from the transceiver and now I have to unscrew this eight screws on the sides of this rig
Okay. We have the plates on the sides. You have to carefully open them. Okay, it's stacked or the PCBs are stacked. Okay. So, yeah, that's really interesting. It has these two halves of this rig. So, actually, you don't need unscrew. You don't need unscrew uh, this three, no, this two screws on top. It's unnecessary to unscrew. Okay. So here we have very large battery. What I am very, I'm very happy. What the big battery was used in this rig. There is a small connector for the battery, which is good because it is not soldered to the uh, PCB board. And the rig itself, here I can see the uh, power uh, transistor fuse right here so now I will unscrew these screws on the PCB board and we'll see what is what is there it's not so easy because this screw has counterpart on the other side so I'm gonna to unsolder this transistor from the PCB board I think this would be the easiest easiest way to open this transceiver You have to pull this button out, out from the case. Actually, use something, something sharp like this, and pull this, pull this button out. see and there it is all right and the radio is free so we have the speaker I can disconnect the speaker Mm, the uh, power transistor, let me look, it's the IR, IRF510, India Romeo Fox 510. I think the same transistor has been used in the MCHF transceivers and also uh, the same one I think is used in the uh, MCHF clones in the China. Right, be careful to not lose the buttons. The rubber buttons are separate And here we have the radio itself. 
as you can see it's a nice modular system this should be the uh, front and filters and uh, it is with the relays everywhere which is good it is not switched by the diodes but normally with the relays, relays this is good and here we have the uh, module of the LCD screen also the uh, peripherals modules with encoder buttons and the mic now I will open these two boards to see what is under the boards okay almost all the screws were removed and the final one here I just want to show you how the screws looks like in this transceiver I'm very surprised of the uh, of the quality of, of this technology used in this uh, product uh, I think there is a lot of care on the technology on the PCB boards on these uh, mechanical parts of this radio and also here you can see the screw and the each screw has a little black separator here between the plates it has a small screw and a nut, nut and and the washer so be careful not lose this little very little washer it's the uh, spring spring washer okay so now I can unplug this module so the first one is this blue one oops okay so you can see here is the PTT button so this peripheral or board has the keyboard socket, PTT button, encoder, mic and the buttons and also the LEDs they are hiding somewhere there between the buttons okay also here we have the display module also I think this is the standard module it's a very common and the main board itself so you can see in details what is there okay so here is the uh, main CPU the 80 meg uh, and yeah 80 meg 238p and it uses 20 megahertz crystal oscillator here and here is the TCXO which is oh gosh it's so small mm, it's so small I, I don't see it clearly I think 29 I think there is a 29 megahertz TCXO oscillator very nice release 
relays and uh, small turrets as the uh, front end filtering. Interesting. Okay. So now I will put these all parts together and I'm very curious how this radio will really works. Okay, so let's check if this radio is working. Yep, seems everything works. Yeah, okay, so you have seen how it looks like inside this little transceiver. So I am happy with the construction and I would like to see how it really works with the real antenna connected in. Okay, so welcome to my garden. And here you can see my uh, testing setup for the USDX transceiver. Here on the right side is my ultralight magnetic loop antenna MC20. Magnetic loop and the uh, second is my USDX transceiver. As you can see here you can you can see the difference here on the box. The size of the transceivers. The Zygo is a bit bigger than the USDX transceiver. And look from the side. The Zygo is almost the same I would say that the uh, USDX transceiver is uh, a bit wider or thicker 
than the Zaigu X5105. Both of these radios are ultra portable radios. They do not need any cables. In compared to my Zygo transceiver, the USDX doesn't have any stand as as uh, the Zygo does. So yeah, the stand is missing to me. Honestly, there is nothing on the back side. Both radios have the LCDs, just the uh, monochromatic LCDs, which is great. But the main feature, the main positive thing on this radio, on the USDX, is the power consumption of this receiver. Uh, here on the Zygu is something around 300 and something milliamps on receive and here is only 70 milliamps on receive. Yeah, that's really, I measured, it's only 70 milliamps power consumption of this receiver. Which is great, you can use this receiver for hours. Okay, so... Let me turn on the USDX today. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP. I think there's an Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango station, uh, but uh, your, your signal is, is very uh, much down in the noise. Uh, would you like to go again from Golf Bravo to Romeo Echo Mike? Yeah, Roger, Roger. This is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP Portable. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP Portable. Over. Yeah, my signal is very low. Yeah, I think this is station Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Um, I'm sorry, you're well in the noise. Um, uh, you, you were peaking at three by one. Three oh. by one. Mike Zero, I think it is Echo Tango from Golf Bravo 2, Romeo Echo Mike. Yeah, QSL, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP Portable. Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP Portable, 5x5, 55, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, QSL, 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 I'm portable station, you're 5x5 five five with me, 5x5 five five with me, 55, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo five Tango, six. portable, from Golf Bravo 2, Romeo Echo Mike, very good afternoon to you, um, as I say, you're about a 3x1, 3x2, uh, thank you for the 5x5, five five five. the name is Nick, November, India, Charlie, Kilowatt, QTH, 20 miles east of London, and we're a special event station for Remembrance Day. So I'm going to keep it short with you, old man, as it's, uh, conditions are not very good between the two of us. Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango Portable, Golf Bravo 2, Romeo Echo Mike. OK, QSL, Nick, QSL. I'm running only 4 whiskey 4 watts and uh, magnetic loop antenna. You're 5 and 6, 5 and 6, 5 by 6. 56, magnetic loop antenna, 5 watts, 4 watts, over. Yeah, Roger, 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 I think you said 5 watts, 5 watts, and if that's the case, you're doing very well indeed. But if you don't mind, uh, I, I will call it today because it is a real struggle, a real struggle. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed for giving me a call. OM0ET stroke P from Golf Bravo 2, Romeo to Mike. Okay, thank you, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Seven three, seven three, seven three. Bye bye. Good luck. Seven threes and QRZ. Now there's a Y O three F F F standing by. I think in the wings. Uh, are you still there, old man? From Golf Bravo two, Romeo, come I? Okay, that was really nice. Uh, my signal was pretty weak <laughs> on his side, but it's done. Great.
Okay, so let me explain the menu settings. By pressing the menu, you will see the menu modes. By pressing again the menu, you can adjust, for example, volume, and by pressing the mode button, the setting will be stored into the memory. Okay, then uh, the second is the mode, USB, LSB, CW mode. Then is the filter bandwidth. By pressing the menu, you can select the another bandwidth, 18 or 500 hertz, 100, uh, 1.8 kilohertz, 2.4 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, and full. Uh, by pressing the mode button, it will be stored into the memory, and the another thing is uh, the band. Uh, you can see the tune rate also by pressing menu you can select uh, the tuning rate and as you can see the uh, the smallest one is uh, one Hertz one Hertz up to 10 megahertz I'm usually using one kilohertz so again press mode it's stored and again we can go further so at VFO mode RIT which is clarifier AGC you can select fast or or slow or you can turn off the AGC completely by pressing mode it will be stored we can go further so here is the noise reduction attenuator attenuator 2 by pressing the menu select attenuator and zero pressing mode we have uh, here the S meter, we can select, uh, I think, three types. This is the classic S meter with a number here in the corner. Or you can select the S bar, the bar here in the corner. And WPM, this is probably for the CW and you will see the number or the value of the v WPM. I will show you how it looks like when the S bar is selected. So press mode to store, press the menu, we can go out from the settings and here you can see the bar, but there is not signal here. Yeah, just one, just one dot, two dots. So this kind of the S meter, it's the S bar. Next one is the SWR meter, which is visible in the CW mode. And we have uh, another options like FWD, REF or VFWD and VREF. That's all. I'm using this one. So select mode and the next one is the CW decoder currently on on CW tone semi QSK here speed here mode here swap practice I don't know for for what is this option Tone volume uh, when uh, TX of the tone you will hear the tone in the in the speaker. Vox noise gate uh, actually it is the squelch TX drive I don't know 
maybe it's uh, something to do with the power of the output power CQ interval CQ message and also the bias something also with the TX and also here reference frequency IQ phase and the backlight that's it so this is the menu of the USDR transceiver Alright, so I'm really surprised how this radio sounds and for this price I think it's a really nice pocket transceiver great for maybe SOTA or POTA or whenever wherever you would like to go with your radio and small antenna so it's really really good thank you very much guys for watching this video and I plan to make uh, some more portable activities with this rig and I would like to show you more in my next uh, videos with this little transceiver so thank you for watching I wish you very nice day 73 and if you like to see where I bought from this radio you will find the link down in the video description 73s guys bye bye and good luck